Hey guys, and welcome back to Tom Time Tea. This is your host, C.T. Russell, with a slightly different video. I wanted to play around with some different content, so today I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of story time. Today's stories are specifically about my time at nerdy conventions. I started going to Anime Expo around 10 years ago, and have slowly branched out into several different cons. I go as much as my wallet allows, and I'm pretty lucky in that I live near the LA area. Speaking of Anime Expo, this is where my first story comes from. Several years ago, it was the first time my sister cosplayed. She had recently read the Pokemon manga series and fell in love with the character Yellow. If you're a fan of Pokemon but you haven't checked out the manga yet, I highly recommend you do. Anyways, this girl came up to my sister and asked for a photo. No big deal, typically cosplayers like posing for photos. The girl then starts talking to my sister about how much her sister loved the character and then asked my sister if she would be willing to go and say hi. My sister said sure and was about to ask the girl where this other person was when she literally picked up my sister and ran with her. Now I gotta say this again because I cannot believe this happened. She picked up my sister and ran. My sister was in such a state of shock, she didn't fight back, she was like a deer in the headlights. And I mean, come on, seriously people, no, why, why? Since we're on a roll with Anime Expo, I'll just continue for now. My second story takes place more recently. Let me just say, Anime Expo is also known as LineCon for a very good reason. Knowing registration can be a pain, my sister and I got there pretty early. There were no signs as to where to go, so we just followed the crowd. Going as often as we had, we had a pretty good idea of where the registration should be. After a good hour of being in the street next to the convention center, we finally got to the part of the line that was not in the street, and I saw the first volunteer. At this point, I had to go to the bathroom, and I wanted to verify that we were, in fact, in the right line. So still in line, I asked the man if I am in the right place. He immediately starts yelling at me, saying that if I hadn't seen a volunteer yet, then I must have cut in front of all these people, and I would had to go to the back of the line. As it stood, I knew we were probably at least two hours from getting into the convention center alone, so I try to explain that there were no volunteers, but he wasn't listening, and I'm almost in tears. Thankfully, the Moana cosplayer in front of us came to our rescue reporting that we had been behind her the whole time, and that there were no other volunteers. After that, he let us stay in line. So, yeah. I won't be going back to Anime Expo this year. It did take us a total of three hours to get our badges, which wasn't the worst I heard of. I heard of some people waiting in line for six or more hours. It's just crazy. AX isn't the only con with line issues. When we were trying to get into a panel for Voltron at WonderCon, I asked one of the volunteers where it started. I was directed to a room and was told to just stand anywhere. I tried to stand in somewhat of a line, but no one was but no one was directed into a line. It was just kind of a mess. After around a half hour, the same volunteer came back and said that we were on the wrong spot and that only people that were standing in line on the other side of the room would get to go in. Needless to say, I was pretty unhappy. Unfortunately, volunteers are not always as well trained as they should be. It's a stressful job, so I try to be considerate, but if a person doesn't know something, then I wish they would just tell me to ask someone else. Okay, I feel like I've been pretty negative so far, and it would be really confusing as to why I go to cons if I just focus on the bad things. So let's try to end on a happy note. Just recently, at Long Beach Comic Expo, I witnessed this little boy dressed as Batman light up when he saw an adult in a Batman cosplay. Little guy thought he was meeting the real Batman. It was so cute. He was just so excited to show off his hood to Batman. The boy's dad was dressed up as Robin, which added to the cuteness, and that's some parenting wins right there. If you ever get the chance to go to a convention, I highly recommend it. I think I'll make or post a video in the future regarding some tips and tricks I've picked up from several years of going to cons. But that's it for today. Let me know if you guys have any questions about con going, and if you have any interesting convention stories, 
leave them in the comment section below. Thanks guys, I'll see you later.